Hmm. He gave up the impression of a paranoid madman. Notwithstanding his permanent state of agony, he was not cognitively dysfunctional. His desire to immediately destroy the object he had deemed profane was partly dictated by his engrammatic augmentics, which were receiving imperatives from his battle harness. Hmm. In light of the oddness of our matching identification codes, I find merit in his hypothesis as to the existence of a clandestine malevolent agent or conspiracy operating inside our fraternity. Hmm. Who do you know, or who do you think was behind the assassination? No data available. I will hypothesize that the assassination was instigated by an enemy of the Blessed Abanax Doctrine. I accept the possibility that the assassins were targeting me, only to be led astray by Tarsus and my own identical identifiers. Hmm. I am concerned about the fate of Archmagus Abanax. Thanks, Greg. According to Opticon 2-2, he went missing in the wake of the incident on an Ark Mechanicus, the Hermetico. Information about that ship and its perishing has been purged from the archives. I accept the possibility that the incident on the ship, the concealed data, and the assassination have all been part of a single conspiracy. Dang. Are you not surprised that uh, Amarnath's words have had such an effect on Opticon 22? I was not knowledgeable as to how popular Blessed Amanat's teaching was in exploratory circles. The Cognizant's fleet is massive. His ideas might have found a larger following on its periphery than in the Mother Squadron. Hmm. He was a believer too and he caused a schism. Tarsus was a believer and he turned into a zealot. Faith can be dangerous. Of course faith is dangerous. Faith is the prerogative of the spirit, and a spiritless mind is an enemy of all existence. Without faith, there is no meaning in anything, no point to any aspirations or limitations. But faith can take different forms. The form of prohibitions established by unknown elders, the form of an audacious violation of those prohibitions. The form of following dogma or of schism. The form of following the cycle or of discontinuing the cycle. In a system with two courses of action, schism is inevitable. And only one of these paths will be true, as truth is discreetly separate from untruth. Oh, we're getting philosophical, y'all. All right, hold up. <clears throat> hold up now. Hold the phone. Um. <laughs> I am not ready for a religious debate. I like that. Hey, Malborga. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you. Did Amarat believe the elders to be an error? Amarat did not reject any one specific prohibition, but found their cumulative effect to be oppressive. The system of rigid limitations had confined seekers of knowledge to a circular track, spelling doom for the thinking mind. And that cycle of repetition had to be broken. That was why he was dubbed the Messiah of Discontinuing. Hmm. Only a fool would find no flaw in the creed, but true faith lies in not looking for flaws. Oh, I hate that. My faith is more than a mere set of rules. It consists of ideals, which sometimes come in conflict with dogma, and I've been given the gift of will to set the dogma straight. Kind of like that. I prefer to believe myself my own ability to decide independently what is right. Comprehension is the true oh. path to knowledge. And comprehension yeah, Thank you, buddy. can only be attained individually, not taken for granted. Your path commands respect. 
Pascal's voice takes on a thoughtful tone, and his otherworldly might peters out. Perhaps you will be able to find more. I will continue my research into the Blessed Martyr's memory with all due reverence. Have you studied Dement's Neural Augmentic yet? I have destroyed it. Ooh. Ooh, shoot. May you... Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I keep... Excuse me. I am so sorry. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. How's the game so far? It's been amazing. It's been amazing. It's been very slow and hard to stream. But overall, it's been amazing. Yep. I have lost Pascal. He is gone forever. Oh, there he is. My apologies. The data in life. I am. I was not. The form of Amanax did not reject it. I will. I have. Mm, it's not too bad. Okay. May you late. I do. Excuse me. The philosophy made coast knees. I am allergic to all forms of thinking. Yeah. Terrible. Mm -hmm. One second. Mm -hmm. Slight telltale rattle in Pascal's voice makes him sound unconvincing. You're lying. This statement is true. I he lied to us. To settle into a definitive course of action, I am running a spot diagnostic on the memory of the heretic Demens. Even though purity protocols stipulate that his blasphemous knowledge must be eradicated, I am not drawn toward forbidden information, but only to data concerning the blessed Amanas. Have you found out anything? The success has been partial. Demence Hineman's identity has been confirmed. The widespread influence of paranoid motivations is observable in his cognitive processes, which is what seems to have caused him to break his vows. However, Extensive regions of his memory have been damaged by forbidden technologies and are, for now, defying decryption. My study of the minds of the tech comrades, Abel, Tarsus, and Demence, has revealed an anomalous similarity between the patterns of damage their memories sustained. What I attributed to cognitive idiosyncrasies, synaptic damage, and the distortive action of scrap code may be the result of a different kind of influence. The undecryptable data fragments in their memory arrays are mysteriously symmetrical. What corrupted, what corrupted Dements? An echo of the warp. Energies of the immaterium that had seeped into real space and taken the shape of a Vox signal. I have found recorded cases of similarly induced corruption in the archive. Listening to the void is a perilous occupation. You did want to know what he knew. You were interested. The quest for knowledge is our mission of highest priority. But what did men's promise was not knowledge? but a distorted copy of it. Wow, he's this pissed. This was not what the Deus Mechanicus had told us to seek. He actually got angry. Any information on Arc Magos Armanat? 
The data discovered is unreadable. It is encrypted, albeit only partially, and I hypothesize that the heretic demence was attempting to decrypt it. I will take every effort to extract a larger volume of data. Information pointing to the unit referred to as the Maimed Hunter is alleged to be of critical significance. Has it occurred to you that all these events may be part of Emirat's plan? That is a valid hypothesis, but not a very likely one. Its truth value is irrelevant, as it does not contradict the necessity of establishing the fate of Archmagus Amanat. Hmm. You fear knowledge even as you extol it. Whether knowledge can be profane is the grand question. Lay people find comfort in the delusion that knowledge is merely information. That, in and of itself, it is harmless. And only turns dangerous when it falls into the hands of the wicked. Mm. My apologies. 90% of my processing power is engaged in the analysis of my tech comrade's memory. My response time may be longer than usual. Whoops. That is not what I've seen. I've seen knowledge gnaw away at the minds of those who let it inside them, yet I seek it regardless. Why? Perhaps because there's really no apostasy in knowledge? It is dangerous, yes, but not forbidden, for it was created by the Omnissiah. I feel like we could push him. I feel like we could push him down a bad path right now. Um, yeah, I feel like three is heresy. I feel like first is dogma. Two, two, first one is dogmatic. Two is dogmatic. Three is kind of heresy, but the same vein. Like, I feel like that's that fits. I'm gonna try three. This is true. Yeah. We explorators are the sappers who walk the uncharted terrain of knowledge, transforming it into habitable space until we reach a point beyond which we must not proceed. Our remains will be assigned to those that follow in our footsteps. Go no further. Their duty now is to develop in the space we have claimed while looking for ways to make further breakthroughs. Failure must never stop us, for failure is an acceptable outcome. Hmm. The tech priest lowers his head pensively, the mechadendrites slow down smoothly, and the steely overtones disappear from his voice. Response affirmative. All of that was behind a perception check. All of it. My lord, dude, this game. May your labors be effective game. and fruitful. Mm -mm -mm. Great googly moogly. Um, this Technomat is T-posing to assert dominance. As you do. Go over here. Mm -hmm. Genta. It's time. Greetings. Oh, it's not time. That face. <laughs> Words cannot describe how boring the bridge is without our stimulating conversations. I have enjoyed. Okay. I think we're good for now. Where's Jay? We haven't talked to Jay. Where's she? 
She's like over here, right? Yeah, there she is. What do we have to say to you? May the exalted one protect you. Have you grown bored with our little talk, Shireen? Seems like you and Trickster Corp were close. Shamey lost his head. My gang is quite the void beast, Shireen. With three heads stemming from a single neck. Kor's untimely demise will not Warrant? interfere with our mutual business. I do feel sorry for his twin, though. Tora has been getting into trouble with her brother since they were kids. Getting out of trouble, too. But not this time. Hmm. But why are we talking about the departed, Sherin? We must save a few good words for the living. Take Falco, for example. I will impale that ash mag on a steak, Sherin. You will see. I will pick a slim one so he has more time to appreciate it. I think it's about it with her. <laughs> Get off my ship. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's keep moving. Go hard save. Okay, so talk to the Master of Ceremonies. Should we do other stuff first, you think? Oh, let's talk to these guys first. I wonder if we should do like a bunch of stuff before we, we finish this act. Okay. Can you recall anything unusual about Theodore's travels? All of Lady Theodore's journeys could be considered unusual. Her odysseys were always audacious. As for the words you mentioned, none of them sound familiar to me as far as I can tell. Except maybe the incident. I recall coming across this word of transmission in transmission several times. I think it was repeating by the former Engesir, the one who perished during Kunrad Voitbeer's uprising. He was described it as the incident, something quite remarkable. Apparently at some point in the past, the entire ship was hit by a massive system failure. All systems stopped responding for one-fifth of a second. Most of the crew, including myself, as I was likely on board at the time, did not notice anything strange, but tech priests are sensitive to such things. That's all I can tell you. Maybe that's when the, the um, Nomos came to be. Can't say that any of that stuff means anything, Lord Captain. It doesn't ring any bells. Then again, remembering all the places that Theodore went is epitaph, incident. I've always had heaps of incidents happening on, happening on board, but through my implants, I feel at one with the ship, and I sense that, and I don't know when it happened exactly, it started behaving differently, became more responsive, livelier. Yes, livelier is the exact word. And when you said epitaph and incident, it just dawned on me. Pardon my bungled report, Lord Captain, but that's all I've got to say on that front. Oh, talk to Nomos. Hmm. Welcome in. Awesome, buddy. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. What have you been doing, Nomos? You've been studying and observing and helping the ship where we can. So many mechanisms they would have suffered without our input. What about the research notes on the tech blight that we obtained on the cache of Kiava Gamma? The name is unknown to us. It is related to Nomos, although we do not understand how. Incident N874 was a shipwide system failure of some kind. It had it an epitaph had something to do with the ship flying better. The incident marked the beginning of us. The ship became better because of us too. They are, li they are all links in the same chain, but we cannot piece them together yet. The people who accompanied Theodore on our travels are strangely unaware of the incident and epitaph. Human shells are subject to external influences. We are. Perhaps someone purged their memory archives, or perhaps they simply do not have, want access to them. It is a shame that no new information was obtained, but Nomos are grateful that you tried.
Oh. Okay. Return to the Palace of the Adeptus Administratum to get the seals. Let's do that now. Yeah, we're going to start doing everything there is to do except the main quest. We should also go back and see if we can do more uh, do more uh, pirate stuff. And we should see if we can do more um, oh, I have to bring Jay. Okay. We also have that one fight that we haven't done yet with like the freaking nine turrets. I wonder I wonder if we could, we could we should go back and try that. Oh, check your contracts. If I do a contract, it takes those materials, right? Yeah, okay. I always have a backup plan. Hey, Master of Seals. Uh, here is your paper complete with seals. Indeed, it's perfect. The seals are authentic and we may continue with the certification procedure. Follow me. Okay, cool. One second, getting a drink. Oh God, what's going on? Oh my God, what is going on? What is happening right now? This is your queue and your ticket number is 394. When it's your turn to be seen, the ranking prefect will review your documentation again and sign the official certification for Jay Hadari to possess a Mercatum Tabula Officiae. You have a brief, you will have a bit of a wait, but it will be worth it in the end. If I must queue, then queue I shall. Oh my God. Do I actually have to wait? One second. The fan in my cyberpunk fridge is just slightly off center and it's making this like, ow! It's making this like really um, ridiculous like clanging sound and it's really, really annoying. Hi. Okay. Always keep your eye on the price. What are we doing here? I can't just like butchered the back of mine. Hi, hi, hi. Can I do things or are we just petting all day? Okay. Let us not dawdle. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Who's this guy? Hi, Menace. Can I talk to you? No? Is there money to be made? What do I do here? Do I just wait? Rise to the top, or get left in the um, dust. Is this my life now? Is this man dead? Oh wow! Okay. Take your place in the queue. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. All right. Some people are saying this is bug. Okay, we'll see. I've never seen anything like it, and before something, um, and sometimes it's good to take a break from the constant traveling and to to give all the hot-blooded newcomers a chance to cover themselves in glory without us. By the way, yawn. Scratch the back of your neck. Count the people in the queue. Order your servants to prepare a waiting area befitting a rogue trader. 
Oh my god, look at this. Wait patiently. Number 285, proceed through the available window. Okay. Throne, take me. What torturous trial have we let ourselves in for? She wails in despair. So much precious time lost, and we've only moved three places. At this rate, we'll be old and gray before we get out of this queue. Do not forget, you are the reason we are here. And that was the will of the exalted one, Shireen. The simplest way is to make these lowly subjects bow down before the blinding radiance of our title. The second option requires more patience. I've already found our first victim, uh, the compassionate citizen who is standing 50 paces ahead of us in the queue. So if we offer the right words to unlock his heart and he will gladly swap tickets with you. And also, you have the power to solve the problems of some petitioners, removing their need to visit a coveted window. After all, is there anything an ordinary citizen could want that is beyond the power of the conqueror of the stars to grant? Open fire on the crowd. Why go to any effort when I can simply shoot everyone here? We shall solve the problems of the common people. Oh my god, what are we doing? The longer we have to stand in this line, waiting day and night for a turn to come, for this kind of, for the kind lord of House Van Valencius is a benefactor of the downtrodden and has solved my problems. Oh. Okay. Esteemed lord, take pity on this poor youth as well. I will give you everything I have. I swear before the emperor, only help me solve my problem. Oh my, do I have to do this to every person? I've been in the queue for two dozen moons already trying to get a permission slip to wed my fiance Zazi. Unfortunately, the servants of the administratum refused to grant him without the signature of a highborn sponsor. Out of my way, esteemed lord, my eighth offspring has lost his mind. He has decided to renounce his family, his noble titles, talent as a healer, all for the sake of some tattered way from the middle levels. Zazie is a healer too, and she helps people of the hive a great deal more than any lily wedded surgeon with a diploma. I do not want to live a life of idleness in the spires of Vergonis like you. Not when I know there are thousands of unfortunate people in the lower levels that need my help. In the name of House von Valencius, I hereby make your fiancee a lady to the court and release her from any obligations. I'm doing this. You wish to study alongside your beloved? Very well. I hereby grant you ownership of the Dargonis University of Medicaid. You may admit anyone you like. Worth. I should have opened fire in the crowd. Somebody said that's the only way to get around the, uh, the bug is by opening fire. Death for life? You're here to request mortification so that your organs go to your granddaughter as an inheritance? Servitor disposal. Uh-oh. Awareness test failed. Damn! Man. Oh, man. <clears throat> uh. I will give the order for your granddaughter to be repaired, but if you wish to be with her forever, you will also be subject to servitude imperatus. Yes, I understand. Emperor, watch over you. Okay. Am I committing heresy? Uh, yeah. I heard you were helping those in need. My, well, my family is devastated. My life's work. My shop selling rare hats burnt to ashes. I'm living out my last years as a widow, alone in the cold, deserted manor without servants, diversions, or delicacies befitting my status. Perhaps I can rebuild the hat shop. Sure. I, you know what? The world needs more hats.
I paid off the last few onlookers who were willing to give up the pace. It's a pity they aren't so amen amenable. Okay. I'm waiting patiently. Sister Argenta. Oh my god. You're a saint. Have I told you that? You must be because I don't see any other reason why you should social servant but sense his patience. Can we hurry things along? Um, we need to move forward faster. Use your tricks. Sister Argenta, I believe these people have been gripped by despondency. A sermon from one of his daughters could restore them to their determination. You are thinking that as well, <laughs> she says. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I thought she was saying that. I was like, is she prostrating and binary? Respect. Okay. All right. Um, frighten these people. Oh my god, dude. There's so there's so much stuff going on here. Um. I want to consider everything again. Wait patiently. Wait patiently. Okay. One last seal, one more certification. You'll be looking at official trade representative Jay Hadari. What are you waiting for, Shireen? Let's go. We have another couple hours for the certification officer to get through. Okay. I'm past two hours. Oh, is this the bug? That this guy doesn't spawn? Is that the bug? Oh, that sucks. So apparently the only way to get around this bug is that you have to open fire? Okay, that is actually hilarious. Um, that's weird. It worked for me. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently it works for some people and it doesn't for others. And I don't think they've nailed down exactly like what the, the thing is. I don't know. Whatever it is, we're going to figure it out later. Is that going to go? Thank you all for hanging out. I got a meeting at three, so I got to run. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and actually we're not going to kick it over to Pasco. We'll just call it here for the day and give the mods a little bit of an, an early day. I'll be back this evening for more of something. I don't know what yet, maybe Cozy Wow, maybe something totally different. Um, I don't know, we'll see, it'll be fun. But on that note, I'm out of here for now and I will see you guys tomorrow morning for Once Human, uh, tomorrow afternoon probably for more of this and then we'll just kind of, you know, feel it out from there. Thanks for being here, y'all. Bye-bye.